The family, of course, lives in Reading. Mom and dad and twin sister Rachel are all in London. But aunts, uncles, cousins, neighbors, you name it, they are celebrating locally tonight. KRC, our News Channel 7, Shay Arthur got the invite to Megan's sister's home to watch the game with family. Shay, I wish I could have been there. They had to be going crazy. Oh, to say the least, Mike, the living room was packed this afternoon with friends and family. And when that final whistle blew, it was almost as if we were in London. The electrifying feeling of victory, those last 15 seconds before the end, realizing a lifetime of work towards a dream which is now a reality. This is beyond anything I ever imagined I would experience. It's just amazing. I'm so proud of the team. I'm so proud of my sister. Uh, she had three goals, three assists through this whole tournament. The crosses she made were absolutely amazing, and the opportunities she made for this team. She was a part of this team and did an amazing, amazing job. More than 30 of Megan's friends and family crowded in big sister Jennifer Brooks's Reading home. All to share in the joy. As well as the agony of the gold medal game. Come on, take it down, take it down. And gaining that gold medal was a long time coming. It took on a life of its own. I've always, always, okay, what's Megan doing now? Sorry. What's Megan doing now and what's next on the agenda? We knew at such a young age, I mean, probably about six years old, we knew that Megan and Rachel, she has a twin sister, they had talent beyond what we could have imagined. And I knew someday that she would make it here. But for friends and family, Megan is much more than an Olympian. She's such an amazing person, and not only is she creative and skillful, she has the most genuine heart, and she gives credit to everybody, and she's just such a, a shining star. And although they weren't in London, there sure was a lot of love being sent from Redding, California. <laughs> Very happy for them tonight, and Megan's sister told me she was expecting to talk to her sister sometime this afternoon, and she just can't wait for her to get home so they can celebrate. Go USA! Mike? Thank you, Shay. What else do you think I have on red, white, and blue tonight? And admit it, you had to get some goosebumps there, didn't you? I sure did.